Oh, hi, y'all. Oh, hi, y'all. Welcome to the Soul Japanese Podcast, a podcast about all things Japan from a Japanese and foreign perspective. We are your hosts. My name is John. My name is Ryusuke. Thank you for joining us today. Arigato.、Um, today's episode、mm-hmm. is、uh, commonly used animal related expressions.、Mm-hmm. Um, so I was surprised when we came up with this list、mm. how many of these sayings i s Pretty used in everyday yeah. Japanese. Yep. Many of them I've never heard of、mm-hmm. before. But,、uh, and then we'll, at the end, we'll have a Omoroi news segment with、um, a few stories, interesting stories.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we'll get it out of the way in the beginning again. So、um, if you haven't done so,、uh, we would ask you to pause the podcast and please. Rate, review, subscribe, follow on wherever you find our podcast,、mm-hmm. as well as our social media account.、Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we would really appreciate that. Hi. Apparently, it helps the algorithm.、Mm-hmm. Um, we do appreciate all the new listeners we、um, have thus far.、Mm. Our downloads and our listens have been steadily increasing. We really appreciate that.、Mm-hmm. Also, it seems like、um, maybe it's like a Friday night thing,、yeah. Eastern time, where、yeah. we'll go on TikTok live、mm-hmm. to、uh, meet our listeners,、mm-hmm. uh, answer questions about us, about、mm-hmm. the Japanese language,、uh, while we eat some Japanese snacks. Hi. We normally eat.、Uh, A sweet one and a savory one.、Mm-hmm. So、um, <laughs> please join us. If you yeah, join、time. us. <laughs> exactly. No, we. It's not a set schedule. Yeah, exactly.、Um, but、uh, yeah, and we're on for about like an hour or so. So、yep. um, yeah, we've met a lot of、um, our listeners、mm-hmm. through doing lives, and、mm-hmm. it's been a pretty fun time. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's、uh, get into it.、All、so、right. the first. Animal related expression is、mm-hmm. neko ze. Neko ze. So,、right. neko obviously cat. cat. Ze is back. back. So,、mm-hmm. um, neko ze means to have a bad posture.、Mm-hmm. Like this. So, I guess like cats, I guess they do have like. Yeah, like a round back. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Which maybe is comfortable for them, but for、mm-hmm. humans, it's a bad sign, right? Yeah. So apparently, this、um, expression is used more and more as people slouch nowadays、mm-hmm. using their computer and their smartphones.、Mm-hmm. And、um, also, Japan is an aging population, so、mm-hmm. there's a lot of、um, like、elderly old people. people. <laughs> yeah. And they have bad backs. I feel like going to Asia is where you notice like, old people,、mm. some of them have like, really. like, Fucked up backs. They're、mm-hmm. almost like at like a 90 degree、mm-hmm. angle. Yeah. Like my my grandpa, my grandma from my mom's side. Okay. They both have nekoze. Were they farmers? Yes.、It? That's why,、yep. right? So I feel like it's from like、Field. rice. Yeah. Yeah, rice right. Planting、Field. and stuff、yep. like that.、Um, so an example.、Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom always tells me that while I'm eating, eh? Nekoze, nekoze nao shinasai. Okay. Because I'm eating like this. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know how we would do it in English. We would just say, like, straighten your back, or、mm. my dad would probably, like, slap my back a bit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, no word.、Mm, right? Like, yeah, I can't think of any. Okay. Of so, of no、head. English, no even in Chinese culture. Um. Maybe. Maybe.、Yeah. Maybe. You should ask your. Let、parents. us know. Yeah. Let us know, listeners.、Yeah. All right. The next one we have is. Urusai. Urusai.、Uh-huh. It means.、Um, so we didn't know this. We didn't know. I didn't know. Right? So urusai means loud, annoying.、Mm. But the kanji、mm-hmm. means to be bothersome as a fly in May. Mm hmm. Um, I guess flies are flies are more active in the summertime. In, yeah, I guess. And they're loud.、Mm-hmm. So 
Udesai means loud or annoying. But if you tell someone mm -hmm. to Udesai, mm -hmm. it means shut up, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, an example. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night, you hear bike gang outside and you can't sleep. Then I said like, Udesai. Udesai. Mm -hmm. And you can shorten Udesai to make it sound more slangy. Mm -hmm. Udesai. 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 Mm -hmm. um, yeah, bike gangs, bozuzoku. Mm -hmm. We talked about it in, uh, I think, the second subcultures yeah. um, episode. Mm -hmm. um, I really like that episode, actually, mm -hmm. because you um, told your stories about meeting Yakuza. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next one, we have another cat one. Mm -hmm. Neko wo kaburu. Neko wo kaburu. Um, it literally means to put a cat over one's head head mm -hmm. so the meaning of it means that you hide one's true personality mm -hmm. so i guess it has to do with the idea that like cats look cute mm -hmm. but actually they can be really sneaky or sinister mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i guess you use you wear a cat over your head to like, like i guess trick people yeah. or yeah but so it really means like your initial impression on someone mm -hmm. is actually different from their true personality mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. an example uh example when i met my girlfriend uh she was more professional because we met at work but then after we started dating she was different person then i say oh neko kabutte tano okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so yep. I guess you meet her in a professional setting. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she's going to act differently. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope you didn't like her because of her person her professional personality. <laughs> well, <laughs> um all right, next one Hi. is chocho musubi. Chocho musubi. Hi. Um a butterfly knot. Mm -hmm. Musubi is not Chocho is butterfly. Really? Mm hmm Chocho. Okay. Um, so like a bow knot, mm -hmm. I guess, because it looks like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. An example is uh, when teaching kids to how to tie their uh, shoe. And then we say like, Chocho musubi shite. Chocho musubi. Okay. Or a uh, bento box. Yeah. And then we tie it as Chocho musubi. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a um, thing that's so Japanese, I think. Well, bento boxes itself is so mm -hmm. Japanese, but mm -hmm. how you guys have a cloth mm -hmm. to, to wrap the wrap bento them. box and yeah. tie it. Is it a special cloth? Is there a name for this cloth or is it just any cloth? Uh, no. Right? Just a regular cloth. And why do you guys do it? Because the lid is not like... Because sometimes the, the bento box, we don't have the, the system to lock them up. So either I used to have the bento box with the like a band. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I put the band, but still just in case, then we love with the cloth. Okay. Yeah. So like if you have like Ziploc type of like uh, containers, mm -hmm. maybe it's fine. Okay. But we still do it. Also, I it's easy to carry. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Is it like do... Do kids at school judge you like, oh, mm. you don't have a cloth? No. <laughs> also, like nowadays, there's uh, the back, like bento box back. Okay. So okay. they can put it there too. But, but I really like the, the look of mm -hmm. the, the, the cloth the wrapping. Cloth. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one is tombo gaeri. Tombo gaeri. Mm -hmm. So it means return like a dragonfly. Mm-hmm. So it means to rush back home mm -hmm. or only go away for a quick trip. Mm -hmm. So I guess because dragonflies are capable of flying all sorts of directions, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can't predict their movements. Mm -hmm. and they're so quick. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. I've never really seen dragonflies before moving to Japan. Oh, really? Where like I would have to walk through rice fields. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. And then they're everywhere. They're everywhere. And they're fucking huge. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah. And I didn't like them because, like, yeah, you can't predict 
where they're gonna fly. They're not gonna fly like a, in a straight line away no, from no, you no. or to they're you, like, you, like yeah. yeah, all sorts of directions. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, they're like flying into your head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. um, so, um, for example, I, when you get home from work, but work calls and they need you back, I have to tombogairi. That's like work. a so Japanese um, example. Mm-hmm. And another one, <laughs> uh, you went away on vacation, but there was a family emergency at home, so you have to go back immediately. Tombogairi. Tombogairi. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one is Yajiuma. Yajiuma. Mm-hmm. It means a jeering horse. Uma, <laughs> horse. Mm-hmm. So it means that like you're an onlooker or you're mm-hmm. a rubbernecker, I guess. It comes from the way horses look at things. They bend their neck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And apparently, like, a horse will slow down and just stare at something. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. uh, an example. A crowd gathered to at the sense of a building fire or either street fight. So, like, people are crowded. Yajima. They're all yajima. Okay. Yeah. So it's not like the crowd mm. a ho- as a whole is Yaji Uma. Yeah. Each person is a yeah. Yaji Uma. Yeah, exactly. So it means like, uh, yeah, an onlooker. Mm-hmm. All right. Next one is another horse one. Mm-hmm. Uma ga ao. Uma ga ao. Hai. So it means like uh, matching with a horse. Mm-hmm. Um, so it means to get along well with someone, to have good chemistry. Mm-hmm. So it comes from horse riding. Mm-hmm. Specifically, the relationship between a rider and a horse. Mm-hmm. I guess that's like a, a really tight bond, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, an example? Hi. When me and John met at work, we hit it off right away and became good friends. Me and John, umagao. Umagao. Mm-hmm. Is, um, have you ever ridden a horse before? I did, yes, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, really into Horse riding lighting? horses. Yeah, I did it one time mm. in um, Hua Hin in Thailand. Mm. Like, uh, they have horse riding on the beach, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it looks like oh, it's so romantic. Mm-hmm. It's cool to do. But my horse went crazy. He's trying to jump into the parking lot, like, like off the beach towards like while um, you're the riding? street. Yeah. Oh no. I freaked out. <laughs> I held course. on so tight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah. Exactly. Um, but I guess I would ride a horse again if like mm-hmm. I think he probably sensed my fear. For sure. No, they're really like they can feel. Right? I wasn't comfortable. Oh, yeah. I was really comfortable and then this horse was really nice. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Next one is a uh, a dog one. Mm-hmm. Make inu no Toboe. Make inu no toboe. Mm-hmm. Um, literally means like the howl of losing dogs. Mm-hmm. So it means losers have big mouths. Mm-hmm. So for example, I, a boxer lost the fight, but keeps talking shit. Like, wah, 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 wah. Oh, make inu no toboe. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, next one. Mm-hmm. Tanuki neiri. Tanuki neiri. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know this. Mm-hmm. I thought tanuki was like a just a mythical creature because mm. you see these statues outside mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. pretty much all mm-hmm. places of business yep. in Japan, right? Yeah. These statues, various sizes, mm-hmm. and a distinctive feature with these tanuki statues is they have big balls. No, mm-hmm. they <laughs> it's have like big huge. balls. Yeah. Yeah, but um, what do these um, tanuki statues mean? Basically, that's for uh, uh, luck or charm. Okay. So like, tanuki means ta is other. Okay. Nuki means uh, pull out. So like, you basically pull out others. That means like you're better than others. Your business is better than others. Okay, but every business has it. So <laughs> exactly. So they're kind of like they wish they can be better than others. <laughs> so I thought it was just like a like a fake mythical animal, right? Mm-hmm. Is what these statues look mm-hmm. like. 
but actually it's a real animal it's a real animal yes <laughs> it's a japanese raccoon dog mm -hmm. so i had to google it mm -hmm. and it's like so we have raccoons here mm -hmm. so it's pretty much a raccoon but like with dog legs yeah i'll say like small bear small bear almost yeah i think it's like more the shape of it mm. and the size of it is like a the size of like a small medium-sized dog but mm -hmm. it has a face and color of a raccoon a raccoon a super yes. weird animal you see mm -hmm. them everywhere like do they cause you don't need really, they're really scared so like okay. they don't need really to come out and is it like a, a real dog like you are they domesticated do people have them as pets no okay yeah. so it's like a wild they're only live thing. as a wild yeah interesting yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah never never seen it mm -hmm. anyway so uh, again tanuki neri mm -hmm. means to pretend to fall asleep or to pretend to be asleep mm -hmm. um, an example parents are checking if their kids are as, as asleep but why were praying sorry so they were playing on their ipad mm -hmm. but when the parents opened the door they and quickly pretend to sleeping <laughs> yeah okay pretending to sleep be yeah. asleep yeah the next one i like this one mm -hmm. kitsune iro kitsune iro so mm -hmm. iro color mm -hmm. kitsune fox fox yeah so um it means a golden a golden brown color like mm -hmm. the color of a fox mm -hmm. So you hear this word often in cooking. Mm -hmm. So, for example, mm -hmm. uh, when you toast the bread mm -hmm. and they go like, please remember you toast until kitsune iro. Okay. Like golden brown. Okay. Golden or either brown. steak. When you cook the steak, make sure your meat surface became kitsune iro. Okay, kitsune mm -hmm. iro. Um, yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Next one. Mm -hmm. Kenyan no naka. Kenyan no naka. Mm -hmm. So again, I thought inu is mm -hmm. dog, but also ken is dog. Yes. Okay. So um, the literal meaning is a dog and monkey relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's a bad relationship. In English, mm -hmm. we would say like they fight like cats and dogs. They mm -hmm. don't get along. But in J in Japan, dogs and monkeys, monkeys yeah. don't get along. Yeah. Actually, this brings us to um, one of our Omoroi news segments about mm -hmm. monkeys. But anyway, example. I Sometimes co-workers just don't get along. Oh, they are Kenyan no naka. Okay. Mm. Um, I hope you enjoy those quick hitter um, expressions. Mm -hmm. We fought we thought they were quite amusing yeah maybe we should do this uh, second one too because there's so many oh there's like yeah. so 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 <laughs> so many yeah didn't realize how many there were mm -hmm. all right this brings us to um our omoroi news segment hi so um we were talking about dogs and monkeys mm -hmm. so let's go to a monkey piece of news so right. um last month and this month in yamaguchi city mm -hmm. um since july 8th mm -hmm. 60 people have been attacked in their homes by monkeys in their home um on an average of three victims a day so i guess these monkeys live in like the mountains Mountain, yeah and they would come down mm -hmm. you would think for food but mm. it's not for food I think like they're coming for food, okay. but because they see other animals, which is humans. humans. Oh, and okay. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, um, like elderly people have been attacked, and mm -hmm. like in the news, mm -hmm. you see the um, the, the bruises, the scars, mm -hmm. the scratches. It's mm -hmm. pretty crazy that yeah. You think that like they actually got off pretty lucky, like. Mm -hmm. A monkey can rip off your face. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's not that bad. But even a 11 month old baby was attacked while taking yeah. a nap. Like, the baby's leg was all scratched up. Mm -hmm. mm. So they first thought that just one monkey was doing the attacking. But mm -hmm. apparently, they caught one. They caught the monkey. Mm -hmm. And. And they still. 
picked him. Okay. Al- so al- after yeah. So now on the streets, like in the neighborhood, yeah, there are people standing guard <laughs> with like a stick. Yeah. To scare the monkeys away, I suppose. Yes, other monkeys too. So um, it's really hot in Japan, mm-hmm. and it's not common for Japanese people to leave their AC on, like for long periods of time, mm. especially well, especially at the night time during sleep when you're right? sleeping. Yeah. So you'll crack a window, mm-hmm. leave the door open a bit, mm-hmm. but that's when the the kind monkeys are attacking, in. right? Yeah. So. The police are telling people to just close leave the, the AC w- on. Yeah, <laughs> and close the window. Yeah, right. But yeah, for old people, uh, AC, keep on AC. It's kind of like, maybe we're going to die. Yeah, right. There's a superstition for yeah. fans, right? For fans. Yeah, that it's if no you AC, leave a fan on um, while you sleep, uh-huh. you won't wake up. You'll die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that... My my parents always telling me that. Yeah, because they want you to save on electricity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Um, I guess not so omoroi, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's interesting bit of news. No one died, so yeah, that's it's good. okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, the next one, um, really popular candy. I feel this candy has, um, is kind of mainstream in North America now too. Oh really? Yeah, mm. you can see it. Uh, Haichu. Haichu. Haichu is like kind of like um, chewy taffy type candy, mm-hmm. almost like Starburst. Mm-hmm. Um, but one of the OG flavors, mm-hmm. green apple, mm-hmm. is going to be discontinued. Mm-hmm. So they actually stopped making the green apple flavor, mm-hmm. but you can still find it in stores, I guess, until they sell out. Yeah. So if you're a big fan of Haichu mm-hmm. and especially green apple flavor, mm-hmm. stock up now. Yeah. Otherwise, it's too late. Do you like haichu? I, <laughs> too I chewy? used to, I used to love it. Yeah. But, uh, one day, I was eating, and my, cause I have a lot of fixed teeth. Okay. And then one Ooh. just came off with the haichu. Oh. Uh, so since what then, are your feelings? Yeah. Yeah. Since then, I don't like it. Was it so painful? It wasn't painful, but yeah. I mean. It's just annoying because after yeah. that I have to go back to dentist yeah, and yeah, then yeah, like yeah. they need to fix it. Just time consume, right? uh, <laughs> not yeah. worth exactly. One haichu. <laughs> I don't want to go dentist for like three times a week. Have you had a um, haichu ever since? No, <laughs> seriously no. I I just remember that time. Um, yeah. All right, next uh, new segment, uh, new piece of news is um, mm-hmm. so Japanese. Mm-hmm. So. A 28-year-old got charged with stealing a large amount of school property because he was infatua- infatuated with the anime Love Live Sunshine. Sunshine. So I think this anime is like about like a high school idol group mm-hmm. or something. And so according to testimony during his trial, mm-hmm. after he graduated from school, um, the man moved out of his family home and mm-hmm. rented a house in Shizuoka City. Mm-hmm. Uh, where he got a job as a caregiver. Mm-hmm. But he didn't realize that he was going to be so lonely living in this new city. Mm-hmm. So he became engrossed in this anime, Love, Live, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Um, and the idol group in the anime mm. is from Shizuka Prefecture. Mm-hmm. So... It made him like be really nostalgic about his school days and he was like i guess really obsessed with this anime mm-hmm. so he decided he wanted to recreate the room where these characters hold their music club mm-hmm. so he went out and stole from three neighborhood high schools mm-hmm. around him he traveled by bicycle and he would grab like desks anything to recreate like the classroom uh, how he could carry the school desk with bicycle exactly so he made many many trips i know and he didn't even have to like break into the schools he Mm. entered through like unlocked doors (laughs) he was even stopped by police at one point oh really and he's just like oh i'm just moving this desk and they're like oh okay you can go (laughs) (laughs) um so by the summer of 2021 
-hmm. He had collected about 15 desks, mm -hmm. but realizing he would need 30 more to recreate this classroom. Oh. So he decided to step up his efforts. Um, one of the daring raids he did in one of the high schools, he stole 18 desks, a TV, extension cords, a long table, textbooks, tennis balls, trophies, all in one night, making about 10 trips back and forth. <laughs> yeah, the, so much energy. The news story, you know how like um, we, when you watch the news mm -hmm. and like, I don't know, the um, police catch like a drug trafficker mm -hmm. or like a weapon trafficker mm -hmm. and then they lay out all the drugs mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. lay all the guns that's what they did for yeah. this guy <laughs> and yeah. they laid all out all the, the desks school desks and <laughs> so trophies stupid. and yeah. huh. you get greedy you should stop <laughs> 15. <laughs> it's not enough man it's not real where, where he can put all this stuff right that's true I, his house must be huge that's true, that's I, true. if i do this I trying to bring it back to my parents' home. Yeah. One desk, they're going to start asking me, like, what is this? But he moved away from his parents, so he didn't have his oh, parents to do okay. with. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like Japanese people, like, there's like this uh, generation of like um, single men who mm. get obsessed with idol groups in anime, mm. hardcore. Mm. And this is an example of it, I yeah. suppose. All right. Our last bit of news right. um, for this segment is there's a vending machine that mm -hmm. sells in-flight meals <laughs> out of um, Haneda Airport. Mm -hmm. So they sell out. They have <laughs> problems restocking it. Mm -hmm. um, they sell these meals frozen mm -hmm. and from airline companies like Qatar Airways, Cathay Pacific, Singapore mm -hmm. Airlines, and mm -hmm. Air New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So it's located in the public entrance area. Mm -hmm of the first floor of Haneda Airport Terminal mm -hmm. 2. Um, they say that you can, I guess, la after landing, you can buy mm. some of these meals, mm. take them home, mm. um, and cook them. Mm. Or if you are flying out of Japan, mm. you can grab some mm. <laughs> and then put them into your luggage, mm. fly home, and you'll have a meal ready. No. <laughs> no. But I can understand, like, people really like flying. I, I watch YouTubers who, mm. um, they review flights. Mm -hmm. So they'll fly to a destination and not mm. even stay in that destination. Mm -hmm. They fly right back. Mm. Just so, they just, they don't care about traveling to different places. They mm -hmm. only... They only care about the, the flight experience. Mm. So I guess there's some people that um, are obsessed with airplane meals. They, yeah, I mean, like, like remember how many Japanese people actually have passport? That's true. That's so true. for me, it more makes sense because in, in Japan, like airport are, uh, it's an airport, but mm. at the same time, there's a lot of attractions like uh, food court, uh, the Nagoya, I mean, uh, Centra, uh, tube Centorea, it's my airport. They even have a, a spring, hot spring. Onsen, okay. Onsen. So I know, like, regular people, they don't even go travel by air. Mm -hmm. They still go there to spend one day. Okay, okay. So I would say if they're selling out all this because of those people who can't travel. But they out, want the flight. They want they, they want to know exactly how airplane yeah. food tastes like. <laughs> you know, yeah. I know. Yeah. Would you? <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't go to the airport, especially for it. But I can see if they had these vending machines like in the city. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe it could be mm -hmm. like gimmicky and stuff. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, airplane food tastes like shit. I'm not going to exactly. eat it if exactly. I don't. Have, it's like know? I have to eat. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm eating. Have you heard about the people who collect airplane safety cards no so you know yeah. those safety cards in front of you in front of, yeah people collect them for what to collect for memory yeah so mm -hmm. like there's like g people that like um post all the cards that they have from different airlines uh, different routes mm -hmm. different um airplanes mm -hmm. yeah they're obsessed with it wow well maybe one day those Car gonna get 
some value. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like a basketball court. <laughs> All right. So um, that does it for today's episode. Hi.、Uh, we appreciate you for listening. You made it this far. Arigato.、Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Arigato. Bye bye. Bye bye.